It's been said that all good things come to those who wait. This is Willie Gardner, a man whose lifetime of waiting is about to end. Willie Gardner, a man with limited space, limited horizons, and limited contact with humanity. People float in and out of his life like flotsam and jetsam washing up on the beach. But the law of salvage is about to change all that. Today, Willie is going to find something very valuable on his particular beach, in the twilight zone. I mean, we don't even talk other than you need change for the payphone or something. Well, sometimes it takes time to get to know someone. You know what I mean? I don't know. Well, okay, if that's the way you feel. Oh, no, w wait. Hey, uh, I really would like to go out with you. That'd, that'd be real nice. Yeah, really? Um. Yeah, we could go for a walk. How about tonight? Yeah, sure. As long as you got 50 bucks. Ah! <laughs> Nobody rides for free, <laughs> Willie. <laughs> uh huh. very funny. Check out time, 12 o'clock. Check out time, 12 o'clock. Good morning, Mrs. Kudaba. How are you today? Good morning. I'm just fine, Mr. Gardner. And how are you? Fine, thank you. Uh, about the rent, I'm sorry I'm late again. And I know okay. that. But you see, my, my checks is late. I understand. Mrs. Kudaba, does it ever bother you? I mean, being around all these one-nighters? Where can I move for my social security? Yeah, I guess you're right. Mrs. Kudaba, yeah, don't worry about the rent. If the landlord asks for it again, I'll cover for you. Uh, such a nice boy, Billy. You know what? You should find a nice girl, get married, have some kids. Unfortunately, I don't get to meet many nice girls around here, Mrs. Kudaba. Well, that's a shame. That's all I can say. That's nah, all right. It's no problem. Bye. Check out time, 12 o'clock. Check out time. To I wish I had a nickel for every old piece of luggage ever left in this hotel. Thank you. 
guys for I can have anything I want and uh, uh, this is my new bed spray it, it's what they call a blend it's uh 50 percent something and uh 50 percent something else but you'd be surprised it almost feels like real fur Mary I don't mean to be rude, but I'm expecting some other guests. Hey! You leave? How's it going? Fine, Danny. Just fine. Thanks for coming. Hi, Candy. Hi, Mary. Thanks for inviting us. Why don't you take a bottle when you're ready to leave? No kidding? Sure, take two if you like. Gee, thanks. Hey, that's for the generous of you, Willie. That's ah, not. <laughs> you're fresh, old buddy. I hope you're not leaving now. Yo, Willie, that sucker just took the last three bottles of wine. Oh. oh. It's okay, don't worry about it. No, please, uh, calm down, everybody. There's plenty more where that came from. I I'll go get it. Oh, I'll go with you. No, no, that's okay. You stay here and enjoy yourself. I'll just be a minute. I wish I had another case of my favorite sparkling champagne. Mrs. Kudaba. Oh, hello, Mr. Gardner. <laughs> Sounds that like you have lots of fun down there well, in your place. We are. Why don't you come on down and join us? Nothing personal, but some of your friends are hoodlums. Oh, they're not so bad. Come on down. Have some fun. No, I'm told for that kind of thing. OK, shoot yourself. Good night, Mr. Gardner. Good night, Mr.
real pretty out here, isn't it? Really pretty. Kind of makes you forget what's out there in the streets. Candy, what is that short for? It's me. My real name's not Candy, it's Lisa. Candy's just my street name. Huh? You think that's funny? Oh, no, I like it. Why, Lisa? Well, yeah, that too, but I mean, I really like that you told me your real name. Yeah, well, listen, Willie. What's a nice guy like you doing without a girlfriend? Don't you like girls? I like you. Yeah? Well, maybe that could work out, you know what I mean? Not really. Well, I could be nice to you, and you could be nice to me. I don't understand. Well, you know, you could take me out and buy me things, get me a nice place to live. Mm. Buy you things. Get you a nice place to live. Yeah, you could even stay there sometimes. Sounds nice, huh? Candy, uh... Lisa, Candy, uh... I'm not just looking for a girlfriend. I'm looking for someone who, who likes me for myself, not, not just for the stuff that I own. Hey, don't get me wrong. Really? Let's go back to the party. Checking out your TV set. Great color. Now, uh, I was wondering, there's this big game on tomorrow night, and could I borrow it? Just for the day, you understand. <laughs> Serious? Serious. Take it. <laughs> you got it. To you. Oh, why don't you give me the stereo then? Be my guest. Really? Yeah. Ah! Easy. All right, stereo baby. Thanks, Willie. <laughs> hey, Willie, how about this boss? Take them. Go ahead, all of you. Knock yourselves out. Take whatever you want, and then just leave me alone, okay?
You're still my friend, aren't you? Well, at least you're honest about it. Hey, Willie. Party's over? What can I do for you, gentlemen? That depends. Depends on what? On what you got. I don't got anything. It's late. I appreciate you dropping by. Hey, you shouldn't be so rude to your friends, Willie. You're not my friends. Look, you guys don't fool me any much. Keep an eye on him. Hey, get out of there! What do you think you're doing? Hey, stay put. Watch your step. What are you guys looking for? Rock piece of whatever you got going. I ain't got nothing going. I don't know if you knocked over a bank or what, but we want our cut of the action. Nothing. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Oh? Wait, are you calling me a liar? Did Willie here just call me a liar? Sounded like it to me. Well, this insults me, Willie. I do not like when people call me a liar. Willie, yes. Now look, I'm gonna make this real simple for you, Willie. You come across with whatever it is that you got, or I will cut your heart out and show it to you before you hit the ground. Okay, okay, I get the idea. Smart boy, Willie. Really. Now, what do you got for us? I got this for you. Get him! here. I can't take another fall, man. I'm still on parole. You're on your own, Danny. I'm out of here. Hey! Where'd the guy go? He can't just disappear. Hi, Mom. How are you? Mom, I'll be okay. I'm not the first girl to get dumped for someone else. Can't we talk about this later? Besides, I think we've discussed this topic a few hundred times. You don't think I want to find a decent guy to spend my life with? I wish. I'll call you later, Mom. Bye. Gardner, a simple man who discovered in a steamer trunk 
the difference between possessions and real wealth. Once adrift in a sea of humanity, he's finally found a safe harbor in a port of call known as the Twilight Zone.